Just over a year ago, I got a phone call from Matt. He reached out to me and said, hey Tom, will you do anything after work tomorrow? Can we sit down for a few minutes? Now you have to understand, Megan calls me probably two or three times a day maybe, on a, on a good day. We spend a lot of time on the phone. But Matt and I haven't had a lot of conversations together. So as a dad, you kind of get the idea that there's something in the works here. And uh, you know, you have a pretty good idea what's going on. Megan is always making sure that everyone around her is well taken care of because that's the loving person she is. And that's how I know that she'll be the most amazing wife and mother. So Megan, this night is probably one of the proudest of my life because obviously I'm fabulous. No, but because I see how absolutely happy you are and nothing on this planet could make me any happier. Megan's my sister, we were born that way, blood. I didn't choose her, she didn't choose me, that's just the cards we were dealt. You and Matt have chosen each other out of seven billion people on this planet, your souls found each other, and that is so special, and something that I can only hope that myself and the rest of us will be able to find one day. <laughs> <laughs> you look so gorgeous. Good. You look so beautiful. Thank you. <laughs> Matt is incredibly selfless. He's a genuine person. He makes everyone better being around him. And if you guys are around this guy for one second, he's gonna bring your life up because he's incredible. I am very excited that Dad and Megan are getting married and happy that we are celebrating tonight. So we sat down, we met at a little bar on Halstead Street, about four blocks from my condo. Matt came over from work, it was about 5.15 in the evening. And Matt originally was fumbling a little bit, you could tell he was a little bit nervous about this moment. But he pulled his stuff together and very eloquently asked me if he could have the right to marry my daughter. I decided to ask him a question. I asked him, I said, do you really respect my daughter? Matt immediately looked up at me, as strong-willed as you could be, looked me directly in the eyes and said, you know, I read time I respected Megan the day I met her, and I've never respected a person more. I knew at that moment I was talking to my future son-in-law. Look out to that crowd for a moment. There is your testimony. There is the support of this relationship. Friends and your family have gathered all around to not just see a beautiful bride or a handsome groom, but to say, we love you and we're in this with you. I'm Matt, take you Megan, to be my beloved wife. I'm Megan, take you Matt, to be my beloved husband, to have him to hold in this day forward. I promise to love you through easy and hard times. To share times of laughter and tears. To share my thoughts and feelings with you. To pray for and encourage you. To work with you to make our marriage. A loving, lasting relationship and above all. I promise to work and build with you a home where God is the foundation. give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage, my heart, soul, mind, and body. I commit to you. <laughs> I 
<laughs> I give you this ring as a symbol of our marriage, our heart, soul, mind, and body. I commit to you. You've made your vows in the presence of Almighty God and of these witnesses. And as a minister of the Church of Christ and by the authority which the state has vested in me, I now pronounce you Matt and Megan, husband and wife. In the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Matt, you may kiss your bride. Welcome everyone tonight to this special celebration of the Bartlett and the Meyer families finding a way to join our families together even further than we have over the last four years since Matt and Megan first met. more beautiful tonight than I've ever seen you before in your life, and there have been many nights like that. No one could ever have asked for a better daughter, or wanted a daughter better than you. I could talk for hours about the special moments we've had together. Tennessee, California, Miami, you name it. I am just going to say thank you everyone for being here tonight. I really, really can't wait to see everyone on the dance floor and I hope everyone has a wonderful night. A big thank you to my dad for making tonight possible. This is my dream come true. <laughs> Men said there's only a few occasions in life where you get to hand pick all the people that you want to hang out with and celebrate with and it's very true we, we couldn't be happier to celebrate a night like this with everyone here 